Hey guys, it's Blade again from Corridor Security. Today we are looking at part two of our three part series on our favorite five channel amps. Today we're gonna to be looking at the mid-range option, the Audison SR5.600. Okay, so this is our choice for a mid-range five channel amplifier. This is the Audison SR5.600. This is a little bit smaller, a little bit more compact. The quality is better. You've got more power output out of this one compared to the JBL. Uh, but let's go through what comes in the box. So this is how it will greet you. Nicely packed by Audison there. So there's not so much in the box compared to the JBL one. It's a bit more minimalistic. So we have the amplifier itself, again with the polystyrene on the ends. Have that we'll open that in a second and we have the uh, instruction manuals and the little gubbins bits and bobs that you use to adjust the amplifier itself that that's it <laughs> that's all that comes in the box um, but that's all you really need with these it's very simple so the amplifier itself we take it out of its packaging it's nicely sealed by all in there with their own stickers so this is the amplifier itself so it's actually a nice, it's almost like a crinkled metal finish. There's no, it's, it doesn't even look painted. It's, it's very well finished. And then we've got a brushed aluminum looking face plate on the front there. Now, as we went through the other one, we'll show you the business end and then where all the adjustments are. So business end, as it were, we have the power inputs on the other side. This is actually an eight gauge cable input, even though this has more power output. So it's actually handy for an installer uh, or, or yourself if you're installing it. The cable's a lot easier to run. It's a lot more flexible um, because this doesn't draw as much current, current so it doesn't need a, a uh, thicker cable. So it's only an eight gauge on this one. Uh, you have the input and output plug, which I'll show you in a second. You have the speaker outputs. Now these are stacked on top of each other to save space. You have the front, rear and sub. So that's front left and right, rear left and right, and sub. And next to that, you have your RCA inputs from your uh, head unit, obviously aftermarket head unit, uh, RCA's front, rear, and sub. And then we have the speaker inputs. So if you're doing high level input, you would attach the plugs in here, speaker inputs go like that. And then if you do add the remote control, which unfortunately doesn't come with this, you'd have to purchase this additionally. It just plugs into there, it's like a jack plug goes into there. Now, again, with this unit, very minimalistic. There's no real adjustments. Only on this side you have the fuses, which I showed you on the other one. These just to protect the amp. There's two 25 amp fuses on this one. And then you have the two screw holes to mount the amp itself. Uh, the adjustments are under this faceplate, which you do get a little screwdriver in the pack, which I'll show you. So this is your little flatted screwdriver, which we'll take that off in a second. So this is your signal to switch on the uh, amplifier itself if you're doing a remote or uh, ignition. You have your high level speaker input plugs, There's another one there. We have two little Allen keys, you have a big one and a smaller one. And then you have uh, two spare fuses and again the screws to mount the amp themselves. So it comes with everything you need. Let's pop this over to the side, now taking the faceplate off. Okay, so once your screws are undone, you can pop this little panel off. This is the little brushed panel. It says Audison on the front, so it's quite a nice looking little panel. Gives it a nice look. Pop that to the side. And then we have the all the adjustments on the top here. So running through it, we have the amp mode. So you can switch it between a three and a five channel amp. Uh, click down is a three channel, click up is five channel. So that's if you're bridging the front and rear channels and you want to essentially make it a three channel amp rather than a five. And then next to that, these are your rear uh, adjustments. It's labeled here, rear, front, sub, uh, but we have the rear adjustments. So you have your input on and off, your levels, uh, your uh, high pass filter adjustment. So this little screwdriver is quite handy for adjusting that. And then you have your mode, your high pass mode. So you can have it a full range, high pass or band, which is adjusted by that. Uh, same kind of thing on the front. Uh, you have your mode, 
your level, your range, which is a click in and out for 10 times, and then your high pass adjustment. And then over this side, we have all the sub adjustments. So we have the low pass rather than high pass, your bass boost, your subsonic filter, your ART, uh, input, and then your levels. Okay, so the amplifier itself, the output specs are these, this will push out 75 watts RMS by four at four ohms. Uh, so it's quite a lot more than the previous amp. And then this is 330 watts RMS by, by one for the sub channel at four ohms as well. So it's similar to the previous one. Uh, but where it does improve is the two channel outputs. It's actually 115 watts RMS uh, by four at two, two ohms. Uh, and then 500 watt RMS by one at two ohms. So it's quite powerful, um, even in the four ohm for, for your speakers. So if you've got more powerful speakers, this does run quite nicely with the Audison speakers that it's meant to run for. Um, but anything can run on this. It's very versatile. So that's, that's pretty much the overview of the amp, but the output quality of this is very, very good. Um, much, much better step up from the previous one, the JBL. So if you're after a better quality option without spending too much money, this is the one. Okay guys, so that's our brief overview of the Audison SR5.600. Now this is our choice for the mid-range option of our three-part series in five channel amps. And now this is currently retailing at $499.99 on our website at corridorsecurity.com. Uh, obviously any price changes will be on our website. In our next video, we'll be looking at the higher end choice, which is the JL Audio HD900-5. So feel free to check that one out when it comes out. Uh, but from me, that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed the video, please like, share and do subscribe and we will see you in the next video.